Hey guys, welcome to another Grippa trading session. Yeah, again, a volume session. Uh, let's start with the trainer to warm up. I've been missing those grippers lately. Ah. But you can still see my hands are still not fully recovered. Also, I used I used some uh, Chinese massage oil to get the inflammation out of my well knuckle of the right middle finger here. But it's still there, so it's more painful actually for my for my right hand than for my left hand, and that is not so good because this one is the stronger hand. What did I do again today morning? I uh, bought, I think two weeks ago, uh, three eight millimeter long steel bars. And one of them was cut in short today, by me obviously. So I'm also focusing on uh, continuing my short steel bending training. Uh, there you can see the 8mm nails by the way. Hot rolled steel, 8mm. I'm quite curious how I perform on these. And what I also did, what I also bought, is I bought the Horido um, 4.8 uh, bolt. And why did I do it? Because the 4.8 bolt is an 8 millimeter bolt and it is similar in strength talking to Ho to Jan Horido the owner of the company similar to the uh, to the iron mind blue nail now you cannot obviously certify or get certified on uh, bending the blue nail but you can get certified on um, bending the 4.8 bolt by Horido. So that's also a very nice test for me and also a very nice uh, motivation because I want to get certified as soon as possible. I mean, there's no way I can, I can get certified on the blue nail. There's no cert way I can cert get certified on the COC number two. So at least there's something like this that puts my name out there and gives me motivation to continue with my gripper and grip training in general. So that's obviously the last warm up set with the trainer. And then we go for <coughs> the COC 0 0.5 as usual. Yeah, and jetzt, uh, and let's, <laughs> not jetzt, that's a German, German word, means now, by the way. Um, let's just see now whether I can do four on these, uh, or on this group right here. My best is three in a row, and I hope I can do four, but whether this plays out or not, we'll just see. Let's... Yeah, I did four, barely four. So again, an increase in performance. That's good, that's good. That makes me, that already makes me happy. <laughs> it's noon right now. So pretty good start into the day today. Now I can obviously do more on my right hand, right? But as I said, I wanna, I try to keep them equal. I, um, I really want a, a working gripper for both hands. And the COC 0 0.5 is harder than the HD 150. So therefore I prefer this one, of course, but I could always go back to the HG 150 and this would be even better than the trainer so it's it's a it's a win-win situation for me if i perform better on this one i will also perform better on the on the hg uh, 150 so let's go now with my right hand one two three four 
Okay. So we chalk a little bit, let's get the bolts out of the way. Let's drink a little bit. And I try to perform four closes in a row, once again, with a 0 0.5. The trainer is not needed right now. And then I move back down until I can only do singles anymore. So yeah. Three. Yes. Oh, I felt it. So, two sets of four is very great. That has never been done by me, ever. And you can see by the color of my face that I really needed to put everything into it. So, obviously, I won't be able to do it a third time. So, we go down to three now. So let's do four again for the right side to keep them equal. One, two, three, four. Oof. Now one thing about bending bolts is, it's of course uh, not as comfortable as bending a smooth short steel bar. Why is this the case? Well first you have the head of the bolt, which can really sort of grind into your skin, cut into your skin, and the same goes for the other end of the bolt um, so therefore it's really harder than simply uh, yeah bending a smooth nail but um, the good thing is that you are allowed to use what kind of so whatever kind of pad you want to use if you want to use leather pads you can use leather pads if you want to use IMP pads uh, um, you can use them as well. So that's the second advantage of uh, going for the 4.8, for example, by Horido, right? Um, so because doing it in leather is obviously less painful and gives you a better grip. So I would really recommend that you try this one out if you're fed up with bending blue nails and getting nothing for it. And you really want to get certified by these for example there's international shipping and yeah I wish you all the best so now three two yeah barely barely three and that was the right side wasn't it yes Barely three. Maybe, maybe I will next time actually use the heavy grip 150 just to see in comparison how many reps I can do with the other one. Because I, I guess I'm at least able to do two more on the heavy grip 150. So instead of four right now in my left hand, I think I'm able to do seven in a row with the heavy grip 150, but let's just see. Hands are not fully recovered yet, so that also plays a role, but they are recovered enough. 
They are recovered enough and that's good. So I think my, my right hand max is around six to seven. If it's fully, fully recovered, it's about six to seven. But uh, yeah, I wanna make my left hand keep up with the right, which is so, again so important guys, because once we get to the, to the big rippers, we need at least to set it a little bit. And be it only like half of a centimeter or a centimeter you you really need this because I also have the COC number three right here which is not movable for me right that's the uh, COC number three and although the spread isn't that much bigger because of the resistance being so much bigger you need to set it in order for you to have a have a decent chance to close it and i'm not really such a fan of of deep setting although it, although um it is a very efficient training exercise but i'm not really such a fan of it because at the end of the day if i want to get certified i need to be able to close it either in a tns which is almost impossible or at least in a white set and a white set being of course the credit card set So, let's just see what goes on here on the left again. <clears throat> Two, three. Yeah, sometimes it's also really about how uh, long your breaks are in between. You saw I, I had a little longer break right now because I was talking about different things, obviously. And that made this set, for example, much easier for me. I bet I could have done four again. Shall I try it one more time? I tried one more time, but give me a little bit more time to recover. I really tried to do four again because this set was obviously easier than the previous one which was surprising to me so yeah yeah I'm, I'm definitely a fan of uh, uh, TNS and white set closing that's really um, what I like because everything else is too much of cheating in my eyes I know you need it for training purposes and I'm also a fan of those I'm using the trainer right now because it's the easiest way for me to show you. I'm also a big fan of those baby click wraps like these because it keeps your hand always under tension. I'm really a fan of it. Great exercise, but at the end it's not as efficient or as good as really trying to do the full sweep, right? full crush from the very beginning to the end but you need everything and I assume once I hit plateaus I will go back to deep setting lower grippers doing baby click wraps and all that stuff but since it's not needed because it, this is supposed to be my working gripper I'm not doing it with this one. So again, the 0 0.5, let's just see whether I can do four this time. I'm going for it. One, two, three. Almost, almost guys. But it's good, it's good. It's always about pushing yourself to the limit. It's, that has always been the case in every sport whatsoever. Very important. So 
So I did those baby click wraps here in my right hand and I feel it very much. Therefore I'm giving this hand a little bit more rest. And I'm focusing more on this one because this one, the left one, is the weaker hand anyways. Actually, let me just see whether they are really both 8 millimeter nails. It looks like that's the case, but maybe it's even a bit thinner. However, it is sold as 8 millimeters. I have a measuring device, but because everything is in lockdown right now, I can't find the fitting battery for it. Once I have it, I will measure every and each nail uh, before each attempt, guys. But since we have this lockdown crisis for months right now, it's very hard to get things. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna um, order anything online or everything online. Some things you simply need once a year, for example. And why should I buy a whole package then, which cost me this and that amount of money for no reason? Yeah, that's the case. So let's see whether we can do three again. Damn, is it really that hot? Getting that hard? <clears throat> wow, seems like I'm almost, I'm almost finished. I'm almost, I'm almost finished. <laughs> now, what you then do? If you want to make it your working gripper is obviously you rest for an hour or something or two and what you do then is is you do singles or doubles depending on how strong you still are with the hand you want to train. So what I'm going to do is then obviously I'm taking this with me again into my living room, into my apartment, upstairs, wherever and I'm performing singles again until this one is fatigued and I know that this one then needs a lot of time to recover but that's okay because then I can focus more on my max and since I only closed the 1.5 once so far um, I really want to make sure that I close it on a regular basis as a matter of fact before going for the right hand, uh, for the left hand um, volume training again, let me just see again whether I can close the 1.5. All right. Let me just see whether I can see, close it one more time. So that was still a wide set, but it was closer to parallel, right? Still a wide set, but closer to parallel. So the 1.5 is really something I have to work on in my right hand as well. Yeah, definitely. And you know what? Let me see where <laughs> let me see whether I can do it the second time. But after taking care of my left hand. Once. Only once. Okay, the left one is done. So I'm gonna uh, yeah, spare it for the rest of the day and let me just focus one more time 
on the 1.5 and then we close the show. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set it as much as I did before, a minute or so ago. And then I'm gonna go for max hopes, okay? For max hopes. <coughs> Needed a little bit of break. Okay, that's it guys. That was the main part of the gripper training session alongside with a ton of information. I hope you liked this video. If so, give it one of these and see you the next time.